Teresa Mack of Mercer County turned to legal services to get her car back and off the auction block after an unnamed, unscrupulous dealer had repossessed it. And when Dan Rubin went over all my papers, he realized I had paid for the car already, so why'd they take my car? Mack says legal services also advised her of what to tell a judge after a shady Newark landlord decided not to follow the rules. She gave me all the advice and she helped me and saved me from being homeless. <laughs> Mack told her stories at this anti-poverty network of New Jersey news conference to cite examples of how cuts to legal services and other assistance to the poor could send the needy deeper into desperation and despair. So for them to cut the budget and not be able to help people that need help and it's just, I just can't believe it. Lawmakers plan to give legal services an additional $5 million last year met a line item veto. I am sure, you know, we will do the right thing for legal services at minimum, getting them back those five. Lawmakers and advocates also took aim at New Jersey's Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF. It's been the same level, $424, since Ronald Reagan was president in 1987. That is the same year my family was leaving welfare in Camden County. It wasn't enough to survive on then. And I honestly don't know how families on Workforce New Jersey are able to survive on the same benefit amount that is now worth half of what it was in 1987. The network cited a United Way study showing the depths of the need. 37% of New Jerseyans are struggling to get by in our high cost state when you include those who are below the federal poverty level and those who are considered working poor. I can relate. I walked in those shoes when I was when a single mother raised me. So I know uh, how those programs are a helping hand and uh, that is, um, in my opinion, heartless. New Jersey Policy Perspective says New Jersey has the seventh lowest TANF in the nation. The other thing that's so concerning about this is the uh, most recent research has shown conclusively the effects of poverty on brain development. Um, and so those uh, effects can uh, last a lifetime for these child children. And we know in New Jersey, child poverty cost the state about $13 billion a year in increased crime, uh, in worse health outcomes, and reduced productivity. So we either pay now or we pay much more later. Legislative leaders say they will follow NJPP's recommendations again after they were vetoed last year. They include raising TAN of 10 percent for three years and then tying it to inflation and expanding it to include more children. This is a wealthy state. Poverty should not be going up. It should be going in the other direction. The economy is getting better. So when you see poverty continuing to increase, as the economy is improving, something's wrong. The administration has heard these complaints and criticisms before. It contends because the economy is improving, these programs aren't needed as much. That is a very weak excuse. Brian Cooley says he has three mental disorders and is grateful for public assistance at all levels. If I didn't have these resources, I would definitely be homeless. I would not get by. If I didn't have food stamps, my refrigerator would echo. The deadline to approve a 2018 state spending plan is June 30th. Michael Hill, NJTV News.